Welcome back to our history series, where we delve into the depths of the past to uncover fascinating and sometimes disturbing stories. Today, we're exploring the 19th century, an era marked by societal norms and legal systems that were often discriminatory and oppressive towards women. Brace yourselves as we reveal 20 unusual punishments and oppressive practices imposed on women during this time. Corstry and Tight Lacing Our journey begins with the restrictive world of corstry and tight lacing. Women were expected to lace up their corsets tightly, aiming for an exaggerated hourglass glass figure. However, this practice led to a myriad of health issues, including difficulty in breathing, fainting spells, and even skeletal deformities. Silencing through social norms, women of the 19th century were often silenced through social norms. They were discouraged from speaking in public or engaging in intellectual and political discussions, further reinforcing the notion of women as subservient and devoid of a public voice. Forced insulation in asylums, distressed or oppressed women who exhibited signs of mental illness were frequently confined to asylums for treatment. However, Proper medical evaluation and consent were often disregarded, leaving women trapped in a world of forced insulation. Confinement for hysteria. Hysteria, a vague and sexist medical condition, often led to the isolation of women in mental institutions for extended periods. Imagine being confined against your will simply because society deemed your emotions and expressions as hysterical. Public shaming in stocks or pillories women convicted of crimes or even perceived moral transgressions, faced public humiliation through confinement in stocks or pillories. These medieval devices served as a stark reminder of the public's judgment and the consequences of stepping outside societal norms. Dunking stool. Gossiping or witchcraft accusations were enough to subject women to a peculiar form of punishment known as the dunking stool. Restrained in a chair, they were repeatedly dunked in water, a horrifying ordeal meant to teach them a lesson. Whipping for adultery, in some societies, women found guilty of adultery face public lashings as punishment for their alleged moral transgressions. The pain and humiliation endured were meant to serve as a deterrent to others. Coerced marriage or remarriage, unwed pregnant women were sometimes coerced into marrying the father or another man to legitimize their child and avoid societal stigma. This practice deprived women of agency and forced them into marriages they may not have desired. Witch trials and burnings, remnants of earlier beliefs, led to witch trials and burnings during the 19th century. Women accused of witchcraft faced unimaginable torture and execution, a dark chapter in history that reminds us of the brutality of the time. Forced sterilization, women deemed mentally or physically unfit or from marginalized backgrounds were subjected to forced sterilization. This horrifying practice aimed to prevent them from having children and perpetuated a cycle of oppression. Exclusion from education, access to formal education was denied to countless women, severely limiting their opportunities for personal and intellectual growth. The deprivation of education perpetuated the notion that women were inferior and perpetually confined to domestic roles. Forced labor in asylums, women confined in asylums were often subjected to forced labor, contributing to the profit of these institutions without any choice or compensation. This exploitation further stripped them of their dignity and autonomy. Workhouse punishments. In workhouses, women perceived as lazy or rebellious faced punishments such as meal deprivation or assigned to arduous labor. These measures were intended to maintain control and discipline within these institutions. Restrictive clothing and attire norms. Strict clothing norms dictated that women adhere to long dresses and skirts, limiting mobility and comfort. These societal expectations prioritized appearance over practicality and restricted women's freedom of movement, banishment, or isolation for immoral behavior. Women engaging in perceived immoral behavior, such as extramarital affairs or premarital sex, faced banishment from their communities. Isolation served as a punishment and a warning to others about the consequences of deviating from societal norms. Public lashings, women convicted of theft or other crimes faced public floggings or lashings. These brutal punishments were intended to serve as both retribution and a deterrent to others. 
Exclusion from legal rights. Women were systematically denied legal rights, including the right to own property, enter into contracts, or even have custody of their own children after divorce. These exclusions reinforce the patriarchal power structures in society. Solitary confinement for disobedience, women, especially in institutional settings, could be subjected to solitary confinement for disobedience, real or perceived. Isolation became a tool to maintain control and suppress any form of resistance. Public hair shaming, women's natural bodily features, such as visible body hair, were stigmatized and subjected to public shaming. This practice instilled a sense of shame and self-consciousness, further reinforcing societal beauty standards. Public lectures on morality. Women perceived as morally deviant were often forced to attend public lectures or sermons. These lectures aim to reinforce societal norms and expectations, reminding women of their perceived inferiority. These 20 unusual punishments and oppressive practices endured by women during the 19th century paint a bleak picture of an era marked by discrimination and misogyny. However, it's essential to acknowledge the progress that has been made in terms of gender equality and human rights since then. Join us next time as we uncover more captivating stories from history. Until then, keep questioning, keep learning, and keep striving for a more inclusive world.